hi everyone welcome back in this video we are going to learn how to calculate the CAGR or compound annual growth rate in Microsoft Excel we will calculate this by using the manual formula and also by using the dedicated Excel function and first of all let's understand what is CAGR CAGR stands for compound annual growth rate and this is a annualized rate of return to compare two or more investment projects by taking the help of these two examples we will learn to calculate the compound annual growth rate first of all let's look at this example number one where mr a and mr b has some investment in the land mr a purchased the land before three years at the cost of fifteen hundred thousand and currently the price of the land is twenty two seventy five thousand and in case of Mr. B, he purchased the land before 7 years at the cost of 1500,000 and the current price of the land is 3200,000 and here in this case if we need to compare the Mr. A and Mr. B investment then the direct or absolute growth cannot give any comparison for example here if I calculate the direct growth on Mr. A investment I'll press equal to click on the current price divided by the before three year price minus one this will give me the growth percentage here the absolute growth on this investment is 52 percent if I calculate the same for Mr. B the current price divided by before seven year price minus one this gives me the absolute growth rate of 113 percent in this case we cannot say that Mr. B is doing better than Mr. A by looking into the absolute growth the number is 113% here 52% here but the time factor is different here the investment is done before 3 year only and here the investment is done before 7 year so due to the time factor this absolute growth cannot give any comparison between two or more investment so in this case we need to calculate the compound annual growth rate or CAGR by calculating the annualized rate then we can compare between two investments so here to calculate the CAGR manually equal to open bracket then click on the final value divided by the beginning value close bracket then type the power symbol open the bracket 1 divided by now put the time frame that is 3 year in this case so type here 3 close bracket minus 1 now you get the CAGR of 15% for this investment for the second investment the CAGR is equal to bracket open click on the final value divided by beginning value close bracket raised to the power open bracket 1 divided by here the time frame is 7 year so put here 1 by 7 close bracket then minus 1 press enter it gives the CAGR of 11 percent now we have a comparison between these two investments because both are the annualized rate of return so Mr. A CAGR is greater than Mr. B CAGR so we can now say Mr. A is doing better than Mr. B in terms of growth percent and here now let's calculate the CAGR by using Excel's dedicated function that is RRI function press equal to type RRI open bracket in the NPER give the number of year or number of period that is 3 here in this case comma in the present value click on the beginning price of the investment comma in the future value click on the current price of the investment then close bracket press enter this also gives the CAGR of 15% similarly here to use the RRI function equal to RRI open bracket number of period here is 7 years so type 7 comma present value is the beginning value comma future value is the ending value then close bracket this simple function is giving us the CAGR of 11% here now we can compare these two projects 
so this is the excel's own function to calculate cagr but if you have the old excel versions like 2010 and earlier then you will not have this rri function available in this case you need to use the manual formula method now let's go to the second example where we have the sales detail of two different companies the xyz company sales revenue detail is given here and the abc company sales revenue is given here and here we have the data of 8 year and here we have the data of 5 year only so in this case we need to compare the sales revenue growth of these two companies we need to find out which company is doing better in terms of the growth in sales revenue in this case also we need to calculate the CAGR so here I will calculate the CAGR by using RRI function press equal to type RRI open bracket in the number of period here we have 8 year period so I will type 8 comma in the present value click on the beginning value of the sales revenue in the first year comma in the FV click on the latest sales revenue close bracket press enter here the CAGR of sales revenue is 5% annual and here in this case press equal to type RRI the number of period here is 5 year which we can count by this is first period second period third period fourth period and fifth period now type here 5 comma PV is this beginning value comma FV is the ending value now close bracket press enter this gives the CAGR of 11% now we can compare these two companies sales revenue this is growing by 11% annually and this is growing by only 5% annually so the ABC company is doing better than XYZ company now here in the manual formula we can press equal to then open bracket then click on the final value divided by the beginning value close bracket raised to the power open bracket 1 divided by 8 close bracket minus 1 press enter which gives the 5% CAGR and here also press equal to open bracket click on the final value divided by beginning value close bracket raised to the power open bracket 1 divided by 5 close bracket minus 1 this gives the CAGR of 11% so this is the way of calculating the compound annual growth rate in Microsoft Excel to compare two or more investments or projects or business so this much for today's video thank you very much for watching if you want to learn more in Excel please go to my channel's video page and browse different videos and I also request you to subscribe to get similar kind of video updates in future. Thank you very much for watching. We will again meet on next video tutorial.